Hey there everyone, it's Andrew here from IDB with watchOS 3.2 Beta 1. watchOS 3.1 brought a couple new forward-facing features like being able to replay bubble animations inside of the Messages app, but watchOS 3.2 brings two pretty big features to the Apple Watch. So before we get into theater mode, which is the one a lot of people have heard about, we're going to first look at the new improvements to Siri. Apple introduced Siri Kit with iOS 10, and it's been available on the iPhone and iPad, but not available on Apple Watch. It allows you to do a lot of different things, including search for photos using Siri, send money using Siri, start workouts, book a ride via Uber or Lyft, a bunch of different things like that that you can all do using Siri without having to get into apps. It's really super useful, especially if you have an Apple Watch alongside your iPhone. The biggest part that I have a problem with on my Apple Watch is actually going into an app to do those actions, being able to kind of just tell Siri to do them, to call people inside of certain apps and the messages and apps, all that with the voice, it's a lot more handy. Other than Siri Kit coming to the Apple Watch in 3.2, we also have theater mode. Theater mode is really neat because it prevents your Apple Watch from turning on when you want it to be kind of dark, specifically like if you're watching a movie. That way it goes into silent mode, the screen is darkened out and it will not come back on until you press the button on the side, the other button on the side, or tap the screen. Really really handy and you still get that haptic feedback to let you know that you got a notification. For more hands on with theater mode, check out our other video, please give this video a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.